Hey guys, my name's Chris, and you're watching WC Fishing. Feel and drive. What is going on guys, as y'all can see, if any of you guys are in the Ithaca area, you might recognize this. I am currently at Cornell University, I'm leaving now for my brother's graduation, and I uh, have a little bit of time, so I'm going to go and uh, soak some lines, if y'all know what I mean, at BB Lake. We're going to see what we can catch, I'm super excited to see what we can do today. But before it's the video guys, about 87% of you guys watching right now are not subscribed, so if you're not already, make sure to hit the red subscribe button and smash the notification bell. Let's get fishing, shall we? Alright y'all, I switched off the wacky room for this little jig head first, just to uh, see if we can nail down some fish. Oh. A little bit of a more universal presentation, not just for bass, but pretty much for any of these little species that live in here, they'll take this little jig head. Oh, that was a nice hit right there. I don't know what that was, but that was a fish. Got him, got him. So look at that. Is that, uh, what kind of sunny is that? All right, y'all, first fish of the day. Look at the color on this pumpkin seed. My gosh, that is gorgeous. Look at that fish. Wow. Engulfed the trout magnet. Saw it. Hit it a couple times, really fat one too, probably spawning right now. Beautiful little fish that's gonna get a release on this catch. Oh, <laughs> that was a little pumpkin seed right there that came up and tried to smoke it again. I get another one right here, watch this. <laughs> Told y'all. Oh, no way. Bruh. Yo, I just did it, guys. That is a rock bass. Let's go. This is, in fact, the first rock yeah. bass. Oh, my God. You got to stop. This is, in fact, the first rock bass I've ever caught. Beautiful little catch. I know it's not a big fish. This is a new species, though. I am so, so stoked right now. That is insane. Let's go get a release on this catch. Beautiful little rock bass. Let's go and see what else we can catch though. I mean, there might be a couple other ones here, who knows? A lot of them like right at the edge, which is kind of cool. Oh, that was a big rock bass or something, big bluegill. Yeah, look at that. Another rock bass. <laughs> what the hell? These things are everywhere. Got it guys, rock bass number two, a little bit bigger than the last one. So technically this is my new PB. Beautiful little fish though. It's gonna get a release on this catch. Got him. Oh, what was that? That was a bigger fish. There we go. That's another rock bass. These things are everywhere. See you later, Bubba. A lot of fun out here. All right, that's a good cast. We're gonna get something. Three, two. Oh, that was one right there. Just lost him. Got him. Yep, I'm gonna catch a couple more of these dudes and then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, switch gears because this is probably getting off to you guys at this point. There we go. Got him. This time we got a bluegill. Got him. That time we crushed him. There we go. Got him. What do we got here? Bluegill. Oh, got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Nice, finally a rock bass. There you go guys, I don't know what fish this is, but a uh, little baby rock bass to finish off our trip here at Cornell. Not obviously what I wanted to catch or someone for a largey, but a fish is in fact a fish. So I'm gonna release on this catch. All right, what is going on guys? I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Now I recognize it was a bit shorter than I intended it to be, and that's because even though I did fish around BB Lake for about four hours, which I didn't show you guys all that, um, I pitched everything from crankbaits, wacky worms, rooster tails, you know, shroud magnets, just everything all over the place. And um, yeah, only managed to catch fish underneath that one tree. I had fished there two years prior and I managed to catch a couple nice largemouth. Whatever reason, none of those were biting. So uh, ended up finishing off with just a couple pan fish, which obviously is not ideal, but stay tuned guys. The next video on battle release is gonna feature some 
pretty big fish. Trust me, you do not want to miss it. That being said, really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you've not already, make sure to hit the subscribe button and smash the notification bell and smash the like button if you guys enjoyed. And I'll see y'all on the next video. Peace out.